Hello friends, welcome to Ikra Weeks. Today we will be discussing about history of tattoos. First, we will discuss what are tattoos. Tattoos are permanent forms of body art that belong to a multitude of different cultures all over the world. Here we will take a closer look at the history of tattoos. We will focus on where they originated from and how practices have evolved since early times. When and where were tattoos first performed? Tattoos date back many thousands of years. In fact, we have firm evidence that tattooing is an ancient art form. After discoveries of tattoos on mummified skin were found, the evidence of human tattoos is believed to be from between 3370 BC and 3100 BC. Odyssey, the Iceman, was discovered in September 1991. His nickname comes from the location he was found in, the Odzal Alps. His body has naturally mummified and preserved, making him Europe's oldest human mummy. Odzi's body has a total of 61 tattoos in various different locations, with the majority of these ink inscriptions located on his leg. Close examination of the markings on the mummy indicate that suit or fireplace ash were used to create the tattoos. While Otzi may be evidence of the first tattoos known to mankind, other eras and ages throughout the history reveal a long and rich history of tattooing. There is evidence of this from over 49 different locations around the world where tattooed mummies and remains have been discovered. Locations where tattooing practices have been recorded on human remains include Alaska, Mongolia, Greenland, Egypt, China, Sudan, Russia, and the Philippines. All of these di discoveries link to different periods of time throughout ancient history. Some of these date back to 2100 BC. Ancient and Traditional Practices As the first tattoo takes back to ancient civilization, the reason behind the newly seen skin tattoos are fueled by different theories. These theories reflect the location and the culture of civilization themselves. Let's take a closer look at some of these civilizations and some theories about why they used to tattoo themselves. China and Asia Some cemeteries across western China in the province of Xinjiang have revealed a number of mummies with tattooed skin. Some mummies date back as far back as 2100 BC while others are considerably young dating to around 550 BC. Within ancient Chinese practices, tattooing was considered to be barbaric and was highly stigmatized. Ancient Chinese literature refers to folk heroes and bandits as having tattoos. It is also thought to have been fairly common for convicted criminals to be branded with a tattoo on their face. This tattoo was used to warn other members of the society that this person could not be trusted. Egypt. There have been discoveries of tattooed mummies from ancient Egypt, which suggests that the practices here dates to at least 2000 BC. Some theories indicate that the tattoos found on the mummies were for decorative purposes. Research by Daniel Fouquet suggests that in ancient Egypt, tattoos may have been even performed as a medical treatment. His examination of the different scars found on the mummified body of the priestess Hathor, suggests that the markings could have been a treatment for pelvic peritonitis. Another interesting discovery about tattooing from ancient Egypt is that it appears this practice was only carried out on the skin of women. This theory is supported by the fact that there is little to no evidence, either physical or artistic, that tattooing was commonly performed on men. This practice changed, however, during the Meroitic period between 300 BC and 400 CE, when Nubian men received tattoos. Samoa Tattooing has formed a part of Samoan culture's traditions for thousands of years. The history of tattooing in Samoa is a great example 
of how tattoos can form an integral part of social culture. It is even believed that the modern day English word tattoo may have arrived from the Samoan word for tattoo, tattoo. The tradition of giving and receiving tattoos by hand in Samoa has been practiced for more than 2000 years. The techniques and tools used for the traditional practice have hardly changed during this time either. The skill thought and passed down from father to son. The tool used to give the tattoos is handmade from turtle shell and boar's teeth. The process of receiving traditional tattoos takes many weeks to complete. Tattooing ceremonies are generally held to mark a younger chief's ascension to a leadership role within society. Once complete, the tattoos represent and celebrate dedication to the culture and great endurance. These tattoos are extremely painful to receive and the procedure comes with a great risk of infection. Unfortunately, those who are unable to endure the pain can be branded with the mark of shame on their skin forever. Ancient Greece and Ancient Rome Written records provide evidence of tattooing from the 5th century BCE in Greece. Tattoos during this era in Greece and Rome were used mainly on the outcasts of society, criminals, prisoners of war and slaves would be branded with their status. A famous example of use of tattoos by the ancient Greeks was the Ath- Athenians tattooing owls onto the Samians after defeating them. Evidence shows the use of the verb Tizen, which means to prick when referring to tattooing in their ancient literature. Throughout ancient Rome, there is also evidence of soldiers as well as arms manufacturers getting tattoos. It is believed that this practice continued right through into the 9th century. Slaves were also marked with a tattoo in ancient Roman times to show that they had paid their taxes. And this brings me to the end of the episode. If you learned something valuable, please make sure to hit the like button. And for more such insightful videos, please subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.